we're going down to the terminal down in Seattle. We're actually picking up four different items from the container that was just dropped off from Germany. We got a 1958 one of a kind of bait BMW boat that was made for Helm Glockler. Uh, there was only two of these boats ever built and they were in an attempt to basically get BMW to start making boats. So what they did is they took the uh, Abate family boats, uh, which are about, I think about 18 foot uh, runabout, all wood, and they put BMW 507 marine motors in them. So the motor alone is just worth about $100,000. And they're estimating the value of this boat about a half a million dollars. Oh, this is crazy. I love the BMW colors. It's so beautiful. That cool is it? Yeah. We got the trailer to match all the colors. <laughs> it's snapped on. And this is like when you're out in the water. This is obviously the sunbathing. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's you know, it's a bit of fun. Good weight. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Yeah. That is true. Awesome. Look at that. Hey, Mark. Hey, the man across. Wow. <laughs> excited. Really excited. Very, very special. Well, it was. Um, it was actually a an idea brought forward by a guy called Helm Glocker, who was actually, a, him and his brother Otto were uh, Porsche racers. They raced the 550 Spiders and engineered them differently. And actually that was the start of Porsche really getting out there and winning things. And then the, uh, they owned the Porsche dealer and the, and the BMW dealer in Frankfurt. And in 1957, Helm Glocker approached BMW and with the 507 V8 engine they had, he said, wouldn't it be a good idea to make a, a boat out of it? So BMW agreed with him and got together with the Abate family in Italy, who were famous themselves for making late boats that broke speed records and whatever. So they, together, between the Abate family and BMW, they made a BMW boat with a 507 marine engine in it. And BMW actually went as far as making 80 marine engines. They took this particular boat, which is Helm Glocker's boat, all around Europe, obviously looking, telling people what they was designing and doing, and they actually did build one other boat. But the other 78 engines, uh, that the project got canned, so the other 78 engines never got used. And they, um, they, most of them went into either into other cars or industrial uses. I know one is actually on a stand in the factory because they're so proud of it. And the story goes that the other boat got destroyed. So this boat was kept by Helm Glocker until he passed in the mid 90s. And um, then it was in a bit of a state and somebody bought it and restored it over a seven year period. The first year actually, it was with the, the members of the Abate family who had actually were the young members who'd been part of building it in 1957-58. And um, the, then it got taken over, so that's why it, it took seven years to do. And then I acquired it at the uh, BMW auction in Munich this year. And uh, here I am looking at it now. Come mate, let's have a look at this. Here it is. Oh my God. Have a oh, look at that. that. Have a look at that. There it is. There's the holy grail of the BMW world. Beautiful. 507 marine engine. That is nuts. You have your ski tow rope over there and everything. Oh, there's a couple. There's a spare prop, spare propeller. I presume in a boat world. Look at the tank, it's like brand new. Mate, this is a lovely restoration. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Hey, oh yeah. <laughs> that's a ski pole, mate. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It goes in there. Look at that. Is that in the nuts or what? Okay. 
Oh. Am I allowed to say that in America? Look at that. <laughs> 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 Steering wheels off the. Is your oar? Is it? The pipe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get, get, away, get away from my boat. <laughs> get the riffraff away. Come on. Yep. Get the riffraff. Come on. He brings down. Even, even, even Terry will hey, come on. We, we don't want him to. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'll be working on it. Yeah. It's uh, What's that finish? Terry? Yeah. What's that? Like a white wood? What's that? That finish. I don't know what it is. But it's not fake, is it? It's, it is a wood of some, or veneer of some kind. Yeah. I absolutely nicked it. I was in the auction, but well, what happened was the actual auction house came up to me afterwards and said, Pete, you was interested in this, do you want to buy it? And I went, oh, let's work out a price. <laughs> <laughs> and we worked out a price that I was happy with it. Yeah, that's, that's two of us. Yep. Three of us, maybe? Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there, so you can barely make up the name. Right there. Yeah. Is there?